What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You are tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pup Guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, right now I'm playing a little bit of catch up um, of a couple of things that I need to unbox for you guys. I've got two different Funko related items and one thing that you two sent over to me that we're going to show off here on the channel. So in one of these pops that I got is pretty dang cool. I actually haven't gotten a pop like this in a really long time and it's Creeping up to be one of my favorite ones recently. It's really, really awesome. But um, anyways, guys, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you about. Slurpee giveaway, if you haven't entered that, you can go and watch the video and enter the giveaway over on Instagram for a full set of the new Slurpee 7-Eleven pops. And I think that's about it. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I got a package from YouTube's. They have sent me stuff before, which has been really cool. A couple of things that I remember that they sent me as far as YouTube's go, they sent me like a Charlie Brown one, a Rambe, a couple of ones that I, you know, just wanted to point out there. But I'm excited to see what's in this one, at least, to see what they send me, because um, those YouTube's figures are actually pretty cool. Okay, these are actually pretty sweet. So let's start out with this first one that I have here. Some of these are wrapped up, um, and one of them is not, so let's get to the one that's not wrapped. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show off to you guys, it's pretty much like, I don't even know, like the center of internet memery, I guess, in a way. Like, if you think of memes on the internet, this might be like one of the top things that come to mind. Nyan Cat, <laughs> they made a YouTube's of this guy. This is so funny. Okay, so let's take it out of the box. I love it, just kind of give you a little bit of a 360 look of everything. It's got all the rainbow colors, um, the cat with the Pop-Tart, all that like pixel art and stuff. Oh my gosh, that is just so funny. And if we take this out of the sleeve right here, oh, there, <laughs> there you go. So I love how they have the figure actually like upwards. So it looks like it's kind of like going up or like shooting up with it's like little rainbow there. But guys, this is like, like I said, classic internet. Like this thing's been around for a while. It's almost like classic. Did it start out on YouTube? I want to feel like it does, but on the back right there, it just says um, all the lyrics, quote unquote lyrics to a Nyan cat. So uh, there's the first figure. Pretty awesome. Okay. So I'm going to take this out of the plastic wrap so you guys can see it a little bit better, but this is pretty cool as well. So this is right here, Sean the sheep. And so this is from like kind of the related to like Wallace and Gromit. I'm trying to remember who the director is or what that style is called. It's like a claymation kind of thing, basically. But yeah, Sean the Sheep. So there you guys go. It's got like that little like stone brick wall kind of thing. Um, so let's take this out of the sleeve and show it to you guys. Yeah, there you go. There it is pretty sweet. So we've got Sean the Sheep kind of chilling, relaxing, um, kind of doing his thing, you know, because that's that's Sean the Sheep right there. He's just kind of doing his own thing. But yeah, Sean the Sheep. I mean, and it even says on the back what I just said right there. He's Sean the Sheep. So pretty simple, straightforward, awesome figure. Really like it. And then this one's probably my favorite out of the bunch um, because I don't know. I, I really enjoy this video game franchise right here and um yeah this looks like it's from actually the newer game that came out was it last year i don't remember but it's somewhat recently it's crash bandicoot and like i said this is from the fourth game uh crash 4 it's about time which is a really fun game it's really hard too if you guys have played it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it it's definitely a tough game, but it's pretty fun. It's it's an awesome game for sure if you love, you know, platformers and stuff like that. But um, there you guys go. So it's got kind of like the classic U2's like kind of eyes. It's almost like the sideward like parentheses, like the little arc looking eyes basically, which is pretty sweet. And then on the back it says Crash Bandicoot lives on in Insanity Island where he keeps the peace by battling the evil Dr. Neo cortex so there you go i think they made a couple other crash figures um as far as u2s go but i love how it says whoa on the side right there because that's what crash says every time he dies basically um but yeah this is actually really cool and i'll have to check out and see what other uh, crash bandicoot figures they have but yeah u2s Thank you so much for sending this over. These are awesome. Definitely go and check them out if you're interested in any of these. All right, guys, on to a Fungo Shop package. So this is something that I got like a lot of weeks ago, basically. I wanna say that this was before my trip to Florida, but I just didn't get a chance to show it off on camera. I already have it opened up, as you guys can see right here. And it is pertaining to a movie that's coming out pretty soon um, that I am pretty excited about i don't know it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see how they actually do this movie and how it goes but anyways guys let's show off the pop to you here we go we have did i do it the right way i did 
Porky Pig. So this is the Porky Pig from the new Space Jam movie. So as you can tell, he is wearing the new Toon Squad jersey, which I actually think looks pretty cool. Um, it's definitely a pretty solid jersey. I mean, they kind of wanted to keep to somewhat the original Toon Squad jerseys, but switch it up a little bit. And that's kind of what they did with that. But um, yeah, I believe this is actually the first ever Porky the Pig Funko Pop that we have. I am very surprised that they don't actually have one of just the regular Porky Pig. There's still so many Looney Tunes characters that they could do, and it's cool that they actually did that one. I would have preferred him to be just regular Porky Pig, you know, with his like blue shirt and everything like that, or is it red? I think it's blue. Anyways, no, it doesn't matter, but it's cool that we have him at least in this form, and like I said, it'll be cool to see him in the new movie and all the other Looney Tunes. If you want to see on the back of the box all the different characters that are there, and um, um, yeah, pretty excited to get this one. Pretty awesome. And um, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are going to go see the Space Jam movie or if you're not a LeBron fan. I understand that as well. But anyways, guys, there's Porky Pig. All right, guys. And then this last one, this is a Zobie box. Um, this is something that Zobie sent over to me. Usually in these boxes, they have um, like... Funko Pops in them, whether they're signed or something special about them. But um, I've already opened this up, but I wanna show off to you. Like I said, this package has been sitting here for a minute. Um, this is from the May uh, Zobi Animation Box. So I am so sorry, Zobi, that this has taken me forever to unbox for you guys. But like I said, it's pertaining to animation and everything. And so everything that's in here is animation related. So first off, I wanna show off to you, this is a Daria collectible pin. Um, and on it, it says sick, sad world. But pretty cool pin. This is one that you can get. It's out of 400, I believe. I'll have to pop up if I can find maybe the little picture that shows the different one that you can get out of this one. But I love their enamel pins that they make for their Zobi boxes. I think they look really cool. Um, the other thing that they included is kind of like a metal print plate, which is pretty sweet of a quail man, quail dog. And what is Skeeter's character's name? I don't remember, but still pretty cool to see that. That is definitely a really cool looking plate. So the last part that I want to show off to you guys is definitely my favorite in the box and like I was saying most of the time these do include Funko Pops and occasionally they have other like signed items but really cool to see this this is the a Winnie the Pooh Funko Pop that is signed by Jim Cummings and so if you guys know anything about Jim Cummings he is like an absolute like voice artist legend he has like voiced so many different things I'm trying to think of other things that he's voiced I want to say he does Pete uh, no, or does he do Pete? Maybe, I know, possibly Pete. I know he does Tigger as well. There's a bunch of other characters and we can list them over here on the side if you guys wanna check them out. But this is definitely a really cool item. I think this is probably one of the most notable things that he voices lots of Disney stuff and he's done tons of other things as well. But I definitely love that the signature is in orange. It definitely pops off of the like clear plastic window that's on the front of the box and everything. But um, if you guys did get one of these boxes, you know that it's gonna be authenticated by JSA, I believe. And it even has that certificate in the back right there. So I love getting signed pops. A couple of other ones that I have that are signed are some of the Sandlot pops. So I do have um, Smalls signed by the actor and also Ham signed by the actor as well. And I'm trying to think if I have any other ones. Those are only two that are coming to mind right now, but I am very excited to have this in the collection. This will definitely be staying with me because you know, I, I respect talent and Jim Cummings is definitely one of those guys. So that is pretty sweet. And guys, let me know in the comment section below what autograph pops that you have in your collection and what are some of your favorite. But Zobi, thank you so much for uh, sending this over and definitely go and check them out guys to see what other pops that they have coming up for their Zobi boxes and anything else that they have autograph related coming on their website. But overall guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it, all right guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. What was your favorite thing that I unboxed or was something cool that you picked up recently? Let me know in the comment section below. Also guys, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind to of one another and always promote positivity and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.